Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this particular video, I'm going to tell you about a notification which CSIR has already given on their official website regarding uh, the issue of uh, CSIR certificate. So if you qualify CSIR JRF uh, or UGC JRF, you might have seen your result already. So in case if you have qualified CSIR JRF or UGC JRF, in both the cases you get certificates. UGC JRF certificate are provided online. They are already uh, on their website like that will be coming on the website. For CSIR certificate, you have to provide some documents so that CSIR can send those JRF certificate to you or they can provide that JRF certificate to you, right? So this uh, video is regarding the official notification which CSIR has given regarding the same thing. So this is right now you are seeing the official website of CSIR. I will give you link of this particular website in the description of this video. You just have to scroll it down a little bit and you have to come in the news and announcement section. Now in news and announcement section, you will find out that there is a link for certificate to qualified candidates of joint CSIR UGC net June 2021. Once you click on this particular link, uh, you will be able to download a PDF in that pdf all the details are there so i'll quickly do that so once you click over here the pdf will be downloaded and this is the pdf uh, which will come up after downloading all right so this is the notice uh, for joint csir ugc net june 2021 remember that uh, when you qualify the exam there are two types of jrf like basically there are three parts in the result in the final result there is part one there is part two there is part okay so part one are those who have qualified csir jrf then part two is for those who have qualified ugc jrf all right and then uh, there is a part uh, part three for uh, ugc uh, ugc net ls this particular notification is regarding those who have got their result in part one of the final result sheet right if your name is also in the part one that is you have qualified csir jrf then this video or this notice is relevant to you otherwise it is not relevant to you in case if you are not um, like if you are not aware about that what exactly csir jrf and ugc jrf or uh, you don't know the difference between both of them in that case i'll suggest a video the link is there in the i button you can click on that and you can watch that particular video there i have discussed about ugc and csir jrf separately all right so let's talk about that uh, the notification it says qualified candidates whose roll number are listed in part one of the result uh, that is csir jrf ls and jrf only are requested to send self-attested photocopies of the following documents now what are the documents needed so here is the whole list of the documents the first document which is needed is marks statement that means your scorecard of your csir net so with the rank and result which is available on the website already so you have to download this uh, marks a statement from the website and you have to self attest it and you have to send along with that you also have to give your 10th class mark sheet so 10th class certificate issued by the respective board as a pre proof of date of birth third will be the degree slash provisional certificate of qualifying exam that is msc or equivalent so in case if you have qualified uh, let's say msc or if you are in final year of msc so in that case you have to uh, give the provisional certificate for that okay uh, the next document is final mark sheet with the required percentage of marks. So as per the uh, like as per the requirement, there is a particular uh, like there is a particular minimum requirement of marks in the final MSc, right? That is 55% of marks. So in if you are getting that, you have to uh, give the mark sheet of that. Okay. Uh, next is CGPA, SGPA, OGP or CPI, whatever you get. Uh, conversion formula of the respective university or institute so every university has their own conversion formula or all so you have to give that and along with that you have to give your cgp or sgpa certificate now a certificate from concerned university institute clearly stating the percentage of the marks in the qualifying degree your marks should be clearly mentioned in your qualifying degree all right next document is purification of marks uh, period in case of dual degree so in case if you are having dual degree course uh, dual degree means if you are doing BSMS or something like that in that case your purification of marks or what period your course is that should be given the next document is for those who belong to a particular category so if you are if you have filled the form under SCST uh, category so you have to give the certificate for that next if you belong to OBC uh, certif like OBC category and if you have applied through that 
so you have to give the latest obc certificate of the non criminal as per the format given in ncbc website so in case if you ha don't have obc certificate in the form of ncbc website you you are given with a link that's there in the pdf itself you have to click on that link and you will be taken to the ncbc website there you can check out the the latest format and along like in that particular format you have to get your certificate made which is also given in appendix one of the uh, information bulletin of the joint csr ugc net exam all right this is also for those who have applied under this category next is pwd certificate if you are belong to that particular category and if you have applied under that then you have to give that and at the end if you have applied under ews category then ews category certificate income and asset certificate which is issued by the appropriate competent authority for the financial year 2020 2021 so remember that this ews certificate is needed to be like the latest one that means it needed to be uh, 2020 2021 or 2021 2022 for other certificates there is nothing mentioned like the year so uh, if you have a older certificate let's say then also you can apply but it is suggested that it should be latest one right and the second thing is it should be in the proper format which they are mentioning so that is one thing which i just want to make clear okay so it is also given that uh, the certificate is given in appendix 5 of the information bulletin of csr ugc net exam so that you can check out okay so candidates who have applied under result awaited category msc or equivalent should submit the required documents only after completing their requisite qualification now this is very important because many of you might be in your masters itself and you might not have completed your masters in that case you don't have to give this certificate but you have to just take a care of this that in after completing your certificate means after completing your masters uh, or after completing your msc you have to give all these documents to csir and once you will send these documents you will get your e-certificate so it says that candidates are required to send the above mentioned document through email only to this particular uh, email id certificate at the rate csirhrdg.res.in the qualified candidate whose document upon verification are found to be in order can download their e-certificate from the website so e-certificate will be provided to those whose document verification will be done in that case we will easily get the csir jrf certificate qualified candidates whose roll number are listed in part 2 and part 3 of the result may contact ugc and nta for the e-certificate so as i mentioned that for part 2 and part 3 csr is not going to take care of ugc is the authority for that and ugc is going to take care of now uh, to those who are not at all aware about this that why exactly you need this e-certificate or why exactly you need this jrf letter or jrf uh, certificate basically so this is the most important thing okay this is something which is most most important and with the help of this only you can get or it will be proved that you have qualified jrf so jrf letter or jrf certificate or right these days we are getting e-certificate so basically this is very important if you have qualified the exam you should have these uh, jrf letter or jrf certificate this will be a proof that you have qualified also when you will start your fellowship or whenever you will apply as phd and whenever you will uh, submit your these jrf letter or jrf certificate then only your fellowship will initiate so this is one of the most crucial documents which is needed so make sure that you download or make sure you uh, like send all these documents on time and make sure you get your e-certificate as soon as possible and keep it very safe and keep it with you uh, like it's a very important document all right so that's it for this video i hope the things are clear to you uh, i just wanted to inform because a lot of people were asking me in the comment section from past few days so finally csir has uh, given this particular uh, notification you can do accordingly right if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment sections below and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csir ugc net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take an Academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the an Academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized, the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy Plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda.
that's it for this thank you so much